well the night is kind of good and i don't know what's going on with my hair honestly i brushed it i swear anyway um <laughs> i just realized yesterday that i'm like turning 22 in like five months so this is super crazy Good morning! So I actually plan to do vlogging a lot more than I ended up doing. So here we go. Um, it's my last, yeah, it's my last day in Paris and I'm having a photo shoot today. So I thought I'd just um, take you with me a little bit and also, I don't know, talk a little bit about modeling and my tips and how I would start. But first we're gonna have breakfast and I got myself a petite croissant and a croissant et almond so an almond croissant and a mini baguette I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat the baguette but the croissant for sure just really briefly I'm just gonna show you like the almond croissant it's so soft like I swear if you are in Paris you have to get one because it's it's just literally the best so really you have to get one well my hair is normally always super calm i made coffee so i'm gonna drink coffee because i love coffee like i tried to not drink it for like three days that worked out pretty good but after that it's like you know the limit is just it's there like i cannot go more days without coffee Okay, the lightning is certainly not perfect, but I think it's okay for this video. Um, so I wanted to share some advice on how I would start modeling again if I had to, because I actually got asked from like friends of friends. Um, so yeah, I just thought, think like a lot of people are interested in this topic. So I might as well share it here on my YouTube. So. I was around 14 or 15 when I actually first talked about starting modeling and therefore I applied to some agencies. I found them on the um, list in a Vogue magazine, but you can also just Google um, certificated model agencies in your country. Um, so there will pop up a list of good ones that are... Um, yeah, certainly good, like proved. So I did that and then I applied to them. The application is mostly full filling the requirements, meaning you have to be a certain height and certain measurements and your pictures have to be a certain way. But this also changed a little bit. So now you can also apply if you're not 178, like 5'8 or 5'9. Um, so I would recommend just getting good Polaroids, meaning face picture, then a profile picture, meaning like you look to the side and your hair is like pulled back, and then um, a body shot to like hips and then a full body shot. So you kind of need four pictures and then you just um, fill out the submission um, application form and submit submit it. What I would do differently is that I would probably always look for the email address and also send them a separate email because sometimes if you fill out just this form it's like really overwhelming for the agencies because they get a lot of applications so they might not notice you and you want to be noticed obviously. So that is kind of the first step that I did when I was, yeah, 14, 15. And some agencies um, reached out back to me and told me I should probably start more like in the region and in my nation because I also applied to international ones because I was like, yeah, I want to travel and yeah, and yeah, and so on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then... What you also need, especially if you're applying over an email address, is a really good portfolio. So the first thing are Polaroids, second things are or is the portfolio. What I mean by that is a collection of pictures that show you variety, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, um, and 
kind of yeah show what you can do as a model so you want to have a broad um portfolio but also kind of defined okay my alarm just came up um so also defined to your niche and what i mean by that is especially if you right now from the starting that you want to be a fitness model or a bikini model you should definitely include um, pictures that are made for this niche meaning you should try like um, test shooting for adidas or um, like sports brands and maybe also do photo shooting close to the ocean um, stuff like that so that the clients that would look at the portfolio and also the agencies know, okay, she would be really good for this certain type of job or a client. Um, certainly you don't have to niche down because some are really, like some models can be like a bikini model and an editorial model. Like, especially when you think about the supermodels, they're kind of all because they just are so good. I mean, I don't want to say perfect because no one is perfect, but I think you kind of get my point. So you need your portfolio um, and that should include six to maybe 15 pictures. Six to 12 is probably the best because you don't want to overwhelm them. In that email, you would write down your name, your address, your location, your age, your measurements, your socials, like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And if you have experience, if you worked with other agencies and what you're interested in, like sports hobbies and why you would choose um, that agency maybe also. And always try to be nice and welcoming. And so social media is kind of like the third thing I want to talk about because nowadays it has certainly become enormous, like it has an enormous importance, meaning uh, if you have a big following, you might could get booked more easily because then they also book you for your name and you have like a following that would buy the products. So modeling goes a little bit into influencing as well um, because technically you influence, like everyone does have an influence on someone, um, just people with... Um, bigger following reach have a bigger audience that they can talk to and that they can influence so on social media it's like a little bit tricky because you kind of want to have a big following but you also want to present yourself as a model but you also want to show your personality so I sometimes also struggle with that because I'm like I really like this and that and I want to show my aesthetics and like pictures of that but then they don't get so much likes and they will not help me grow and then you don't want to just look like an influencer or blogger but you want to look like a model um but i think you can kind of like combine it in a good way you just have to 